Hello everyone, Wendy Spanish Crafter here. I did give a sneak peek of this lap book yes, yesterday, but the video I made um, I deleted by mistake because my phone was full and I deleted some videos on it and deleted that one by mistake. And I couldn't show it again because it was a, a make with video. So I'll give the full flip through of this lap book that I have made for my granddaughter for her birthday next year. It's all just tied together with ribbon. It's inspired by Carol Tinson. She did one a while ago. And one of my earlier videos, I did an owl based one. The same design, but a lot smaller. This is a full 12 inches by nine inches. And I've used a Stamperia 12 by 12 Alice in Wonderland paper pad and some from Victoria Designs and I think some of the cards are from Tracy Fox. So here goes. There's a load of tags that come with the papers from Victoria Designs. So I've printed them all out and put little seam binding tops on and I made a pocket at the front here. So Holly can do with these. They're all white on the back so she can journal on those. A little tuck spot there as well. I've glued a little decorative metal doorknob on and one of the name plates from the set and inside the first cover this is a flip out these are all from the paper pad and I've just folded up bottom bit or glued on a little pocket these are all from tickets from Victoria Designs and this is from the stamp the Stamperia pad tags and so is this bookmark which I've laminated and put a tassel homemade tassel on the end these are all just glued on because impatient me folded this when it was still wet so I've got like ruck, ruckles in the paper so I was just trying to hide them a bit with some more decoration then here is a long parchment envelope and I've put magnets on so that just holds in there and that houses a double tag made with some of the paper stuck onto coffee dyed paper so that just tucks in there. Hold that one back. This is the right hand side with a pocket and a little tuck spot there and a pocket at the bottom and a giant postcard from the Stamperia set. This is from I think Victoria Designs and these are just some bits that a friend from the craft club gave me so I've put them all out and any spare pieces I've put in an envelope for Holly to use as and where she wishes. Right let's open this first flap. This is the sort of back cover. Another bookmark with a tassel with a little pocket. Just make sure that you can see that side. Yeah there. And then I cut into the paper and made a little door with a magnet and put a little image, I think this is from Peter Rabbit, that another of my craft ladies gave me some images from, and another tag. So the magnet closes that and holds the tag in place, and the same there. Then that folds back, and here we've got some narrow flips. So I've just made a belly band here, with little tea bags with drink me, tea addict and tea time on and I've just put in some little playing cards there and I've done the same in all of them just put a few playing cards and I've put a tag which helps hold the flap of this envelope down and inside there is a 
giant tag which I've put on some coffee dyed paper on the back so that that can be used for journaling. So the flap is held down with the tag in this pocket. The same on this one here. There's another flip here with the same sort of idea. This tag holds down the top of that pocket and that just slots in there. The little tiny flip here just holds some tickets on each side. So there, little miniature playing cards again. On this page here, this flip, I've put a belly band and I've attached two tags with magnets. And underneath the belly band, I've put two envelopes, one with cards in, journaling cards. And the other one is a proper envelope. And I've just put some spare bits of ephemera that were left over. Tickets and cards and another name tag. So Holly can play about with those and stick them where she'd like to stick them. <laughs> I had to hold this flip together because these tickets were getting in the way of this paper pad when it was folded so I put paper clips on there with ruby red gems on and there's tickets in the pockets there and this flips out to show a large piece of the Stamperia paper and again I've used magnets and these all flip out and in these two pockets here I've made two little notepads out of coloured paper and coffee dyed paper and I've put a little rabbit charm on the spine. So when these pads are out you've got another flip there as well. And they all clip down with magnets and the pads slot in the pockets at the side under there. And on this piece, there's another little pocket here made with cards and I've put two journaling cards in there. I've done a, a flip down here with another large tag. And this is a little sticker there that says, you're mad, but I love you on there. And that just folds up there. And then on this spine, I've put two more parchment envelopes with some journal cards that were left over. And they, again, attach with magnets. And the ink was running out on my printer. That's why these are a little bit on the pale side. A very long, narrow notepad. All different coloured papers and um, lined paper then I put this in just to keep the notepad down and then these flips won't butt into the notepad when I fold it shut and on the very back page is more of the little tea bags with more playing cards inside the same ones that are in the little flip there I just cut into the paper to make a tuck spot and the same here, just cut in with a knife to make another little tuck spot there with some more large tags in. And that folds over and you've seen that and the front piece folds over and then on the very back side there's a large pocket with concertina sides there and I made a notebook to go inside and I'll just put that to one side and show you this so this is the front of it with a pocket and I've put a little envelope tied together with seam binding with a quote from the Alice and I've written Holly a little note or a poem and I've printed it out on the computer and I've also printed out a couple of the Alice 
um, Twinkle Twinkle Little Bat and Have I Gone Mad, just quotes and sayings from the book. And that ties together and goes in that pocket. These sides tie together with ribbon because it's an upside down back to front book. So that's this is one side and it's just that ties over and there's a little cards from the Stamperia set I've made into a little flip book so that ties over to keep it closed then it's just coffee dyed paper for the notepad and I've just stamped somebody from the craft club gave me a stamp set of Alice so I've just stamped odd, odd ones on the pages this is the back of that with another envelope there's nothing in there then you flip the whole thing over and you've got another book the same with a pocket there and again a coffee dyed paper and I've just stamped on a few of the pages and it's all tied in with seam binding, stitched in rather. That was a piece that I printed out from the Victoria Designs. Oh I've had such a curious dream and another pocket there I need to make one large tag to go in there in fact I'll probably put one of those in there then the ribbon will hang out at the top and Holly will know that there's something inside it so that is the book that sits inside the giant pocket at the back so I'm very happy with that and I hope that Holly will love it as much as I've loved making it for her her birthday's not till next July, but I was I've had this idea in my head since I since I watched Carol Tinson's video. So thank you for joining me. Please tick the subscribe button and a thumbs up if you like it. I love it, and why not have a go yourself and watch Carol's video? Okay, thanks for joining me today. Thanks. Bye bye. <laughs>